The question today is, does stepping up the size of your exhaust with a power cone make more power? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner, and as always, welcome to the channel. Today we're asking the following question about turbos. We know that a bigger exhaust helps turbos. If you got a turbo, run the biggest exhaust that you can. But the question is this, if your turbo has a V-band flange designed for, say, a 3-inch V-band and 3-inch pipe, what happens if we step this up using a cone to something even bigger? Now, the opening of the turbo is one size, the exhaust is one size. What happens if we go big? Does it add power? Let's find out. All right. Let's get this bad boy on. Okay, the drain line. So this is the smallest of the turbos that we're gonna run. Typical installation though. Got our white pipe. Our adapter, three inch V-band T4. That way we can run all these different turbos on there. And then we've got to hook up our feed line. Be good to go. Hook up the intercooler. So this one's running a three inch exhaust on it. Got V-band. Got row two sensor. So we throw the tune on it. Where is the we've got our oil feed. Mm -hmm. We've got compressor housing all lined up. It's a tight little turbo, but it chuckle ability goodness though. That's right. Alright, intercooler time. Okay, Jimmy, tell us what you're doing here. We've got a 5.3 on the dyno, got a single turbo. What size turbo is this thing? Okay guys, let's jump right into the dyno results of our comparison of the power cone. Basically what we're doing is, as we saw in the video, we're stepping the exhaust up in size from how it exits the turbo out to a bigger exhaust. So the question is, we know that a bigger exhaust usually helps with power, but does it still help when the size of the turbo kind of dictates how big the exhaust is going to be, and then we step it up after that, do we still get power? And the answer here, as you will see, is yes. But let's take a look at our test motor. This was a 5.3 liter, the aluminum L33 that has like 700 pulls on it. Now, it does have ring gap in, on it. We had 799 heads. We had the Richard Holdner Performance Lobot truck camshaft in it. 
I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. We have Trailblazer SS, a 92 millimeter throttle body, and we had our turbo kit on here, which consisted of stock exhaust manifolds, the truck manifolds facing forward. We had our custom Y pipe, two turbo smart wastegates controlling the boost. We had on this test a single GTX 3584RS turbo, again, Richard Holdner Performance. We had our 1,000 cc injectors. We were running this on E85, so we had, you know, plenty of octane and stuff. It did have an air-to-water intercooler on it, and we ran this thing first with the GTX 3584RS turbo. We ran this thing first at 11.75 pounds of boost. Now it wasn't exactly that all the way through, but that's where we were kind of at the power peak. And if we take a look at this run in turbo form with this uh, very, very responsive GTX 3584RS turbo. In fact, that's the turbo that I recommend for all the guys running 4.8s and certainly 4.8s would be awesome. 5.3 is also awesome, up to 800 horsepower. If you wanna go beyond that, then definitely step up to the bigger G42 turbo that we have and you'll see we did a test on that as well. But run on this combination, we made 739 horsepower and 778 foot-pounds, like I said, 11.75 pounds of boost. And this was using the three-inch exhaust, a V-band flange, three-inch exhaust, and you can see we had our O2 sensor there to uh, exit out of the turbo. But what we did then was we stepped up and put our power cone exhaust on there. And what it did is it stepped up in size, still three inch exiting the turbo, as you could see for a short section. And then it expands out. And in this case, it goes from three up to a three and a half inch. And then we could put a three and a half inch exhaust on there after that, after the cone basically steps everything up. And we did see a sizable gain in power. We went from 739 horsepower and 778 foot-pounds to 773 horsepower and 812 foot-pounds. And yes, for the guys that are asking, the boost pressure did go up. And this is very, very important. The boost pressure did go up about a pound and a quarter up to about 13 pounds. And there's good reason for that. Yes, we could just raise the boost and make more power if we wanted to do that. But Having the exhaust flow increase does two beneficial things for this. One, obviously you have more exhaust flow. If you have more exhaust flow, the turbo loves it. It made power from top to bottom. It also raised the boost. So that tells us also that it dropped back pressure in the system before the turbo, also good. That's basically what's controlling the wastegate. So we dropped back pressure and improved exhaust flow and actually running, you know, 11 and a half, 11 and three quarter, pounds of boost or 13 pounds of boost, this is not when the, the cone would be most beneficial. It would be most beneficial if you were trying to, for instance, max out the turbo. Like how much power can I make with this? You definitely want all the exhaust flow. And as this shows, the cone definitely adds power. Okay, guys, we stepped up in our turbo size for this test. Same basic 5.3 L33 motor with all the same, the low buck truck camshaft, stock heads, uh, Trailblazer SS intake manifold, but we stepped up in our turbo size. In this case, we went to our G42 turbo, which the GTX 3584 RS turbo, good for about 800 to 850, let's say on a 4.8 and a 5.3. It's rated for 900, but that's probably more a flow rate on a small, really high performance, kind of like a K-series Honda or something. But we've run them up beyond 800 horsepower on a 5.3, certainly would do that on a 4.8. But this turbo will go to 1200, this G42 will go to 1200 horsepower. And so we ran this thing starting out at nine pounds of boost. And our combination produced 700 horsepower and 697 foot-pounds, kind of even with the torque and the horsepower. But what we were trying to find out in this test, just like with the smaller GTX 3584 RS turbo, was we know there are two things that are important here. One, we know if we put a bigger exhaust on a turbo, more exhaust flow after the turbo always improves the turbo. You don't want a small exhaust to improve response rate. That doesn't happen. The bigger exhaust improves response rate and makes more power. We know that this is the case. So we always tell people run as big of a big an exhaust as you can. Sometimes fit in it becomes the issue. But more specifically, for this particular test, we wanted to find out if the turbo has a given size exit. Let's say it's designed on that smaller turbo for a three inch exhaust. In this case, it's designed for a three and a half inch V-band. If we step that up using one of these power cones and then put a bigger exhaust after that, does it still help? Even if we have a section of the smaller three and a half inch tubing in this case, and then it steps it up, does it still help? Or does that small section of three and a half inch tubing 
make it act like all the rest of it's three and a half regardless of what we do afterwards? And the answer is no. These power cones definitely work. Basically, they're allowing you to put a bigger exhaust on the turbo, even though it's designed for a three and a half inch. And that's exactly what happened here. So we went from on this G42, this is about nine pounds, like I said, 700 horsepower and 697 foot pounds. When we, when we cone this thing up to put a bigger exhaust on it, in this case, we went to four inch or so, and the power jumped up quite a bit. It jumped up to 750 horsepower and 749 foot pounds of torque, like I said, horsepower and torque were about even at about 11 PSI. And I know the guys, <laughs> please make your comments and say, you need to run it at the same boost. We're not trying to do that. We wanted to find out if making this section bigger had any effect, and it definitely does. It affected the back pressure before the turbo, it affects the flow rate after the turbo, and if you were trying to maximize the power output of any turbo, running a bigger exhaust, even coning it up from the outlet size of the turbo, definitely makes power. I'm Richard Older. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and make sure to check out richardolderperformance.com.